So this is exactly what it looks like. It's a skull and crossbones, the international symbol for piracy. And this is also exactly what it looks like. It's a gravestone, because I am actually in one of the last remaining pirate cemeteries in the world. On a calm morning, we decided to head to one of the island's main attractions, which was a 15-minute walk away from the island's main town. We were heading to Ile Saint Marie's Pirate Cemetery, the last pirate cemetery in the world. After walking down various winding and hidden paths, we eventually found it. On top of a small hill overlooking the bay lies the overgrown and crumbling graveyard. There are about 30 gravestones here, all belonging to resident pirates. In fact, Ile Saint Marie was said to be home to over a thousand pirates throughout the 17th century. And according to various old maps from the time, Ile Saint Marie was simply known as the Island of Pirates. And some of the gravestones here even bear the skull and crossbones, the international symbol for piracy. So why Ile Saint Marie? Well, its isolation, its abundance of tropical fruits and all its sheltered coves made it the perfect hideout for pirates. But also more significantly, Ile Saint Marie was in close proximity to the East India trade route. The East India trade route was the main passageway in which Britain imported its goods from Asia. And conveniently, it was situated very close to Madagascar, allowing the pirates to go offshore and raid merchant ships. So I'm just coming down to the waterfront below the pirate cemetery, and out there is the mysterious Ilor Forban, which was said to be home to many pirates. The infamous English pirate William Kidd was also said to have spent a portion of his life here in Ile Saint Marie. He originally was sent over by the UK in order to fight pirates, but he himself ended up becoming a pirate. And you can actually see his gravestone here in a cemetery, although he was executed and buried in England. William Kidd, or better known as Captain Kidd, cannot be found at the cemetery. However, his famous ship, the Adventure Galley, was found off the coast of Ile Saint Marie in the year 2000. The pirates who lived here, including William Kidd, were able to acquire lots of wealth from the East India trade route. In fact, it is said that Captain Kidd's treasure is hidden somewhere on the island, perhaps near the wreckage of his ship. This mystery still attracts many explorers to Ile Saint Marie today. So could it be that Captain Kidd's treasure is hidden somewhere amongst Ile Saint Marie's secluded coves and shores? Or indeed, has already been found?